Hey guys, Mike here's Professional Security Journal. Um, I'm going to be making a shitload of videos today. So you'll have to pardon me. Um, I may screw up the algo a little bit. Algorithm. I may, uh, I may not get, some of these videos may not get as much reach. Um, video number one today. Hi, Mike here's Professional Security Journal. This video is going to be touching base on this channel's dormancy. So, Mike, where the fuck have you been? Good question, YouTuber. Where have I been? Um, well, yes. So, you see what ended up happening was... I just lost my curly fries. Oh, fuck. Um, drove down to Las Vegas. Officially left Salt Lake City, as I shorthanded Salt. I left Salt, um, two-ish weeks ago now. January 22nd. Um, I'm sorry, I'm talking with my mouthful. Chew, swallow. Okay. <laughs> um, yes. Yeah, so I ended up um, leaving Salt, driving down to Vegas, the 22nd of January. Immediately went through the two-day. The we immediately went through the. Um, Two-day armed officers course. I went. I had to recertify through Nevada PILB all over again, and I had to go through the first timer course and all that because I couldn't just do a renewal. I couldn't just do a renewal shoot. Nevada PILB security regulations are: every six months, you must give a um, a verification of employment for armed security, a VEAS form. Pardon me. One second. This is not me looking like special forces. This is not me trying to be cool. Um, I actually have a legitimate reason for this. This is because the wind that goes between my ears and whatnot, that bothers the fuck out of me. Plus, it's cold as fuck in the city of Las Vegas right now. I'm about to step out in some rain as I'm talking to you guys. So, yeah. So, what I do is I have this neck gator from 511. Great product. I have this neck gator that I put up, and then I throw my beanie... Or if it was sunny out, I throw my baseball cap over it, and my beanie more or less secures the night gator to myself. But I digress. Sorry, guys. I was just fixing myself and wanted to explain. I'm not trying to be all super secret squirrel, fucking cool guy LARPer. No, I have I have, I have a reason for, for that. I always have a reason for whatever I do in uh, private security. But regardless, yes, where was I? Yes, so drove down, went through the two-day armed officers course, um, got credentialed to carry a weapon again. Hi! So, um, yeah. Um, so I've been working this one event. I won't tell, I won't say what we're doing. This is actually take two of this video. I filmed, uh, I filmed take one a couple of hours back and, uh, why well, to get out of the car. I had to do some, I had to do some stuff. I had to, I had to help the gate and I just left the film running and this and that. It, it, it I just decided, just fuck it, I'll just start over again. So yeah. Um, so yes, um, we are behind in Salt Lake videos. Um, I meant to do a karaoke video. Well, karaoke got canceled at Craft by Proper right before I left Salt Lake City. So, there was no karaoke. Craft by Proper did not do karaoke because it was canceled. Um, however, one of my last hurrahs was Sunday the 21st of January. And I ended up, uh, I ended up getting photos with my bartender. I ended up getting photos with my boy. That was a goodbye. So, I got photos with my dude. Missy Zaid! <laughs> Um, ended up getting photos with my boy before I left, and yeah, I drove down, got certified. So there's going to be a couple Salt Lake City videos that I'm going to end up having to go back and do. I'm going to have to do the Craft by Proper highlight. I am doing a video on my bar. <laughs> Shout out to Craft by Proper. Shout out to Proper Brewing Company in Salt, in, uh, well, shit, the whole state of Utah, really. They got locations in downtown Salt Lake City. They got a burger shop. Right next to the burger shop is their actual brewery where they do everything. And then they got uh, Avenues Proper, where one of my crushes actually, she used to be a bar manager, she used to be a manager there. She resigned, she left, she's no longer with Proper. But yeah, I went to Avenues, good good eats, good bites. Um, went to... Never been, actually, was going to say went to Moab. Uh, uh, proper Moab just opened up, so if you're way out in the sticks, uh, got you some drinks out there. And then uh, Utah, Utah's only Utah only beer bar. So what that means, because I know I just said the same thing twice, Utah's only Utah only beer bar. 
They're the only state, or they're the only bar, they're the only bar in the state of Utah that sells local brews and local by Utah only beer. You've craft by proper as, as a bar, as a uh, draft beer bar. They only sell beer that was brewed, distilled, etc. that was made locally within the state of Utah. So they're Utah's only, Utah only beer bar. Um, so need to do a video on craft, need to do a Salt Lake City review, more or less need to go back through my entire security career and make a video on that and be like, here's everything I did in Utah. And that's what I wanna do. I wanna do a look back, a review of my time in Utah. So a couple videos there, we're behind in some Utah videos. I have been working 12, 14, 16 hour duty days um, since I came back to Las Vegas. The 16 hour duty days are sometimes up to one company, the one I'm working right now. I won't show the company logo. Um, the 16 hour days upwards of with this company or I've been working from this company going to Securitas because as some of you know, I my last ever job worked in Utah was with Salt, Salt Lake City Securitas, Securitas Salt Lake. Um, and then I, trans, I actually transferred to Securitas Las Vegas uh, when I moved. So I'm a, uh, I'm a secure, I'm a branch, when I'm a branch officer, I'm, a, I'm an officer with uh, Securitas Vegas as well. Um, only to knock out some of my loans. I'm planning on putting in, I'm planning on dropping to just these guys uh, once I'm done. But yeah, so um, this event has been a shit show. Um, call outs like a mother. And it's been me and like two, three, maybe four of the guards that have really been holding this event down. Um, but I digress. So funny story about my holster, guys. Um, so I got... Yeah, I can't really do this in a car too much, sorry. I got an Alien Gear Rapid Force Duty Holster. Um, funny story about that. So right before I got, right when I got back to Vegas, I went to a local gun store here in town called Ventura Munitions. And I ended up, uh, I was thinking, shit, I need to get ammo for the armed security course because I was thinking I was going to need to get ammo. It was supplied. But I was like, crap, I need to get ammo. While I was there... I found a left-handed duty holster and I I literally walked by the holster and I did a double take and I was like ah. and then I walked back and I'm like holy fuck that's a wrong-handed holster that's my holster I never see left-handed shit in a store <laughs> so I grabbed it in a hurry so uh yeah I grabbed I slowly I grabbed it off the shelf and I uh I bought it and I'm, I'm going to tell you guys, I want to do a dedicated video on this holster, but I'm going to tell you guys, this, I am so much faster with this than a fucking Safari Land. I, I've been like messing with it. I've been doing dry fire one out and I'm like, dude, I love this thing so much more than a Safari. Sorry, Safari Land. Um, but yeah, so for those who aren't aware, yes, Mike is wrong handed. So let me introduce, let me introduce myself to you folks, jokingly. Hi guys, I'm Mike here at the Professional Security Journal, and I'm wrong-handed. This is loaded and being careful. That's why my finger went right on the frame. But yeah, so SIG P320, SCS, uh, SCS320, hollow sun enclosed optic, direct mounts to the P320, uh, Streamlight TLR1 HL, and now I'm gonna put it away. I've I've shown I've shown my goodies. It's on the weapon. This is kept stock. I do not fuck with triggers. I do not fuck with um, extractors. I do not fuck with anything on my firearm. I have standard accessories that go on my weapon, um, light and a dot. That's it. That's all. I, that's all I do to my firearms. I don't fuck with the triggers. I don't fuck with anything on it. I keep. I keep the weapon itself stock. But there's some standard stuff I do to my firearm. I.e., everything gets those two accessories. So yes, because when I made this channel, I was in Utah. I did not carry the save of Utah at all. Well, by the time by the time I got on YouTube, by the time Sean had um, by the time Sean had encouraged me to put myself out here on YouTube, I had already left the federal government. I have left the federal government May of two thousand and twenty-three, and I started YouTube about July, June or July, right after I left the government. So now this channel is um, 
Now that I'm back in Vegas, this channel is me carrying a weapon in the city of Las Vegas. Now I'm now I'm back doing armed security. Um, I want to do a dedicated duty belt tour for you folks. I am a well put together security officer. I have already had Las Vegas Metro tell me that. Um, I carry all less lethal implements. You can see you can see this big scary looking thing through the angle you folks have on camera through my steering wheel. This big scary looking thing is a Peacekeeper RCB rapid containment baton. This is the 29 inch model. I have the retention, I have the uh, combo end cap. I have an anti-roll retention cap, but at the same time, it's also the glass breaker. So I have a glass breaker combo anti-roll um, tip on it. Uh, what you'll see kind of about here is a Safari Lane handcuff pouch. Right now I had to go back to Smith & Wesson's because my Smiths fit my Safari Land uh, handcuff pouches. Let me see if I can't, like, I don't know, half stand up in the car. Give you guys a better view of my belt. Yeah, so Safari Land handcuff pouch here. Um, high Speed Gear International HSDI, aptly named iTaco. I have my phone pouch. My Taser X26E law enforcement model. I know I have the law enforcement model because every time I do the test spark, it's, it gives it gives a 10 second countdown. So I actually have the older uh, the older law enforcement model. I have the X26E. This goes into a Black Hawk Serpa. Hate to say it, I don't like it. I'm thinking I gotta do some things to my belt. But um, yeah, the, what I was getting to was other handcuff pouch is here. I keep my front clear, or I keep my back clear. I keep my rear clear in case I end up on my ass. Because uh, I know a lot of police officers back in the day. Sorry, Sean, I'm going to poke fun at you. Back in Sean's day, when Sean was just becoming a cop, they were still being stupid, and they were putting radios and whatnot on their, uh, on their pretty much on their spine. They were putting radios and whatnot on their back, and cops would get knocked on their ass, and guess what happened? Bye-bye spine! So a lot of cops got their world rocked back in the day because they put shit on their back. Um, so I keep my back clear. Uh, the furthest my duty belt goes right now is kind of to the rear of my hip because I have a big boy Streamlight HL5X. Medical. Okay. Um, yeah, I have a Streamlight HL5X that sits kind of behind my right hip. This is the furthest my duty belt goes. I'll give you guys a duty belt tour when I'm not, like, doing shit. May actually be this the next video. I'm gonna stop recording. I gotta do a round, and then I might go back to filming. Like I said, I'm gonna do a lot of videos today. But yeah, so uh, duty belt. My rear, my rear is kept clear as clear as possible. Um, but yeah, so where, yeah, where, where's Mike been? Um, simply put, Mike has been working up to 20 hour days because I'll do 12 here with this company, and then I'll say go work at a Securitas. Uh, I have worked up to 20 hour duty days so far since I returned to Vegas. So I've been. Um, I haven't had the energy to do videos until pretty much now, so. Hi guys! Channel has been dormant. I'm back. Uh, I may be in and out. I may be dormant and not dormant just for the next couple of days. Um, this event that we're doing is through Valentine's Day, so I'll kind of be in and out. Um, we're doing some shenanigans for the Super Bowl. It's what I'm guarding. I'm doing, I'm guarding equipment for Super Bowl advertisements, projectors and whatnot, so, um, yeah, I think that's as far, I think that's as, the furthest I can say, so that's my line right there. That's my line in the sand, that's the furthest I can say. So, yeah, OPSEC, 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 operational security. Don't say too much, folks. Um, but yeah, so that's pretty much all I'm going to say on what I'm doing right now. So yeah, I'm doing super bull shenanigans. Um, that's why I'm, that's why they hired armed guards. Pulsers behind me. I hate, I hate sitting in a car with a, with a full, with a full duty belt, but yeah. Um, that's really all I have for you folks. Sorry, I'm, I'm doing the whole connect the dots thing that I have joke about and, in, in, uh, that I always joke about. If you threw a dart, if you threw, uh, you know, if you, uh, threw some strings on the cork board or whatever, I I'd be everywhere. So, yeah, just want to do a touching base with you folks behind in some Utah videos. Um, hi, still alive. Uh, want to talk about my time in Vegas so far. So, that's been my time in Vegas so far. Upwards of 20 hour duty days. Uh, today... Oh yeah, that's what I said. At the, that's what I said in take one. Today I got scrambled. Uh, I was only supposed to work 5 p.m. to 11 p.m., 1700 to 2300, and Central Command in Washington State actually called me out of my sleep. We have a no call, no show. Can you scramble? I went sure. So I got scrambled. I'm working right now on this side. This is site two, I think. This is site two. You know, 
one site and then I got to go down the street to the other site. Um, I'm working 8 a.m. to 11 p.m. between two sites. This site is going to be 8 a.m. to 5 p.m. Then I got to scoop to the other side. Um, 5 p.m. to 11 p.m. Then I'll do the short six hour stint. So, uh, yeah, today is just bleh. I, I'm, I didn't go to sleep till about midnight, 1, maybe 1.30 last night was the latest. I, I stayed up 1.30 a.m. So I got like five and a half, six, maybe seven hours of sleep at most. Um, so I'm kind of eh right now. But yeah, so we're, we're, we're on duty. We're armed. Uh, back in the box. <laughs> I had to get permission to leave post because, again, I got scrambled. So I was like, I'm going to go get some food. Central command. I literally called Washington. I'm like, I'm leaving. And they're like, okay. So yeah, let me do that one round. Uh, this video is going to be cut. I'm going to do one round, and then I'm going to go back to filming. Uh, next video that I probably put up, even though I'm going to be posting three or four videos at once, the next video will probably be the duty belt tour. So yeah. But other than that, guys, Mike here's Professional Security Journal. Y'all stay safe. Take it easy out there. Please stay situationally aware. Stay frosty. Stay vigilant. All that cringy shit. Please stay situationally aware. Take pride in all you do. Obviously, y'all know I got it back. Take pride in all you do. And other than that, I will see y'all on the flip side. This is Mike here at Professional Security Journal. I'm out east.